Hey everyone. Today I thought we could write letters to your upcoming fourth grade teacher. So I know you don't know who your teacher is yet, but that's okay. We can just write dear fourth grade teacher. And this way, uh, when you get to fourth grade, your teacher will have already had a conversation with you. They'll know a little bit about you. So I'm going to share my screen with you. And I will plug in my document camera. Let's do that. Let's do some brainstorming of what we might want to include in this letter to your fourth grade teacher. So we can do this together. I like doing the web just because it's like a good way to organize. Okay, so this is letter to fourth grade teacher. And I think if I were your fourth grade teacher, some things I might want to know is what are some of your hobbies? So think about your hobbies. I know for me, if I were telling somebody about myself, I would let them know I'd love to read. Reading is a hobby. Skiing. Hiking. Camping. These are all things I enjoy doing. Another thing you might want to tell them your strengths, things that you think you're good at as a student. So strengths, like I'm good in math, uh, love to read, maybe friendly, and maybe some things you're working on. So goals, maybe you need to memorize your, memorize, multiplication facts. Maybe you're working on your writing. So maybe you're working on capitals and periods. Punctuation. Maybe that's something you want to work on or your spelling. So it's kind of nice for a teacher to know your strengths and your goals. They definitely want to know your hobbies. So like I know I always enjoyed being able to talk about skiing with Logan and with Andrew and oh, many of you who went skiing. So we had that in common and we could talk about it. Other things, maybe um, your family. I like to know, and I'm sure your fourth grade teacher would like to know, your siblings, if you have any, or are you an only child? Siblings, your pets. That's always fun to know about that. So. If you have other ideas of things you might want to include in your letter to your fourth grade teacher, feel free. Anything, your interests, um, your favorite color, whatever it is that you, you would like your teacher to know about you. So that was just to give you an idea. Now what I'm going to have you do, once you kind of know what you want to tell your next year's teacher, you'll want to go to your Google Docs. You can get from your waffle, right? You guys should be really good at this by now. You're going to start a new document. Make sure you title it. And I'm going to put the title up here because it's not going to be titled in my actual letter. I'm going to put letter to fourth grade teacher. And if you can do that for me, I'm going to print these. And when I get the class lists, I will give these to your next year's teacher. Okay. So once you've done that, come on down. The first thing we talked about this is the date, is the first part of a friendly letter. So I'm thinking the date for this assignment, you will be, I can't remember what day you're doing this, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be Monday, so that would probably be the 19th. So let's, if I'm wrong, you guys do the right date. <laughs> May 19th, 2020. I do these videos ahead of time, if you haven't noticed. I've made some mistakes with dates. So this looks really small font. Let's go to 18. I'm gonna highlight that, come back up and go to 18 is a nice readable font. And don't forget the comma between the day the 19th and the year. Okay, so then I'm gonna come over here and start with my greeting. Dear fourth grade teacher. 
since you don't know her name, I know it'll be a her, um, we'll just say fourth grade teacher. And don't forget to capitalize. You have capital D, capital F, G, T, and then of course your comma, that's your greeting. Now we're gonna hit the enter bar and go ahead and hit tab for your first paragraph. You will begin your letter. That's the body of your letter. My name is, and it wouldn't be Nancy Aubin, but I'm gonna make sure I capitalize. My name is Nancy Aubin, and I am excited to be in fourth grade. Or maybe you say you're nervous. It's up to you. You don't even have to say that. Just some kind of introduction would be good. Um, then you might go into telling about your family. I have a son named Avery who is going to be a senior next year and a daughter named Aaliyah who is going to be a freshman next year. I also have two dogs and two cats, four pets. Did I say naughty dogs? Just kidding. One of them is not naughty. Now you'll see the blue line. If you want, you can do this as you go to go up to tools, check your spelling and grammar. And then um, it says no comma there. So you would hit accept. I also have because we use a comma after also when it's at the beginning of a sentence, but not when it has I in front of it. So as you make mistakes, you can go through and change them. Or you can wait and just write and then go back and do it. It's going to be up to you. That's my son. I'll call him back. Sorry about that. All right. Next, the next paragraph will be about maybe my strengths and goals. Or no, I think I'd rather go to my hobbies. Let's tell more about me. My name is Nancy Alvin and I am excited to be in fourth grade. I have a son named Avery who's going to be a senior next year and a daughter named Aaliyah who's going to be a freshman next, next year. I also have two dogs and two cats for pets. So now I'm gonna talk about my hobbies. I enjoy reading, skiing, hiking, and camping. I feel like that should be part of the other paragraph actually. So I'm gonna put that up there because it's still telling about myself and it's not enough to be its own paragraph. You want at least three sentences to make a paragraph. Now I'll end it with my goals and my strengths. Let's start with the positive, my strengths. And I'll indent again. I am really good at math and reading. I like to socialize because I am very friendly. I am working on memorizing my multiplication. And being sure, I'm looking at my little web here to remind me of what I want to say. And being sure that I capitalize, or how about I say I, making sure that I include correct capitalization, capitalization, and punctuation in my writing. My writing. Okay, now I could just do a closing paragraph. I am looking forward to meeting you, and I can't wait to start my fourth grade adventure. Then you're going to want your closing. I would say, sincerely, if you don't know this teacher yet, 
we don't even know who it is, and then your name. I would use your cap capitals for your beginning of the, your first letter of your first name and the first letter of your last name. Don't forget to do that. Once you've done that, I'm gonna move myself here. Make sure you hit the share button and share this with Nancy Aubin, and you'll see it right there. Click on that, send it to me so I can print it out and make sure you get that with, um, make sure you get that to me so I can get that to your next year's teacher. I'm really looking forward to hearing what you right so good luck with that if you have questions please let me know okay i'm gonna stop sharing i'll stop recording and i'll see you soon